your phone spying on you? Yes, it totally is, but it's much more complicated than you think it is. Jen Dolbeck exposes tech spies. Let's talk about some other creepy ways you're tracked online. She's a social media professor at the University of Maryland. Her TikToks show the many ways your phone is spying on you. In some cases, apps will passively turn on the microphone in the background and listen in. Sound far-fetched? European soccer team La Liga got busted for doing it a few years ago. Basically, if you went into a bar, it would listen in the background to see if the game was on TV and then check its database to see if that bar had paid the licensing fee. They were fined a quarter of a million euros. And intelligence agencies have apparently been doing it for years. The minute it connects to their network, as soon as you turn it on, it can be theirs. They can turn it into a microphone, they can take pictures from it, they can take the data off of it. But blatant spying like that is pretty rare. Typically, your phone's a little more subtle. Actually, you're already giving your phone all the information it wants. It's sending the ID of your phone, your location, other apps on your phone, all kinds of information. It's just being shoveled off to places that you don't know. You have a ton of apps on your phone. They track which websites you go to, what videos you watch, your messages, who you follow, even where you go and what you buy. But those aren't all separate companies, each with their own data. All of them are owned by Facebook, which means everything those companies know about you is all in one place. It sounds a little science fiction-y. A huge database with information on every person? But Goldbeck says it's real. We go, okay, you want my phone number, it's so you can call me. We don't think it's so you can connect me to this massive database that has a full history of every app and service that I've interacted with and what I've done. And with that information, Goldbeck says she's written a program that can do some scary things. In my lab, we can analyze your Twitter feed on the day you enter Alcoholics Anonymous and tell you with 85% accuracy if you're gonna stay sober for 90 days. We can predict if your relationship is gonna last. We installed an app that tracks every time your phone sends information back home. Over one weekend, those apps sent information back more than a hundred times in one day. Over the whole weekend, almost a thousand times. The key to why this is all legal, basically, is that it's covered by the terms of service, and they can be really vague. And really, almost no one reads the terms of service. So just by downloading and using an app, you're giving them permission to do whatever they want with the data they collect, because you don't own the information about you. In Europe, people do own the information that's collected. They can get a copy of it or even have it deleted, but not here. We need laws in the U.S. that say people own data about them. And right now the law is that companies own data that you share with them. That's how it was revealed that Amazon's Alexa speakers are always listening and recording, sending those recordings back to Amazon. But it probably doesn't need to keep all of those forever in a huge database, but it is. Goldbeck says until we have a similar law here in the U.S., your phone will keep spying on you, and you'll probably keep letting it. William Pitts, 12 News.